Happening right now, the ongoing search for this missing two-year-old boy in Hernando County. It's been 12 hours since a witness told law enforcement they saw Joshua Rowland, also known as JJ, playing with dogs outside of his Brooksville home. That was in the area of Ponce de Leon Boulevard and Yance Road. 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen has been in that area all evening and will be there throughout the night. Now, Hannah, just hours ago, law enforcement told us they were shifting their tactics in this search. Yeah, Dave and Carolina, they are steadfast here tonight. And while they have ceased the ground search efforts, they are still continuing by air. Right now, they are working with helicopters and drones that use infrared or thermal technology that would help them detect body heat like that of a two-year-old boy in the woods. Now, it's not just law enforcement out here all afternoon. There have been people from across the area who said that they saw what was going on and they couldn't just to stay home and stand by knowing this two year old was still out there. This baby is two years old it's so and sad. it's time he needs to come home. It's time to find him from across Brooksville and neighboring towns. People flocked to Yance Road on Thursday to search for two year old JJ Rowland. I couldn't sit at my house wondering what's going on. We had to come give a helping hand and so all evening by foot and car people doing their part to help find him. As you can hear, I'm kind of hoarse, but I'm screaming his name. You never know. He might hear you and come on out. Since JJ's mother called police at noon, multiple law enforcement agencies have been searching high and low using the help of dive teams, canines, drones and helicopters. But the train has made the search a challenge. It's a very, very difficult area to search because he's very small and some of these woods and the trees make it very difficult to see, sometimes even a few feet because the grass is so high. The sheriff says it's likely he wandered off, but they're not ruling out abduction. We don't have any indication he's been abducted, but if you have a family member that's acting strange, uh, we're going to check out every lead that we that comes in until we find JJ. They're asking those in the area to continue searching their property to help bring a young boy home to his family. That mother, my heart goes out to her. It really does. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine what she's going through. And the sheriff says that the search will resume in earnest, including additional resources like an additional dive team as soon as the sun rises. So many people have reached out to us asking what they can do to help out with this. What are they telling people they can do in order to search for JJ? Well, Carolina, the sheriff's department is now saying that people can come and join the search, but they're asking that they stay on the outskirts of the search area. They do not want people going in the wooded area so as not to contaminate the scent that these dogs are trying to track back there. Of note, if you would like to come out here and volunteer, they did say that they would be checking backgrounds. We're going to be out here all night and bring you any updates if we hear anything. Live in Brooksville, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay.